Task Force Pineapple was an operation in Afghanistan that frankly, I never planned on doing. I'd been out of the military for nearly 10 years and really had put a lot of that pain, a lot of that post-traumatic stress, all of the challenges of working in that country in Afghanistan behind me. With America withdrawing its troops and Afghanistan on the brink of chaos, retired U.S. Army Green Beret Lieutenant Colonel Scott Mann organized a do-or-die rescue mission to save a friend from a life-threatening situation. But I got a call from this young man right here, Nizam Nizami. He was 19 years old when I recruited him. I trained him. I advised him in combat. And at 31 years old, he was hiding in his uncle's house like Anne Frank as Kabul fell around him. He had applied for a special immigration visa and it didn't get approved in time. So I started calling people who knew Nizam. Green Berets on active duty. We started working the phones and for the next 96 hours, we became his eyes and his ears and we moved him through the city in a dingy old cab with a Pashtun driver. And then we got him through the crowd of 10,000 and then when he got within four feet of the Marines, they didn't know who he was and they wouldn't let him through. His phone was at 10% power. He had burned his safe house, he was out in broad daylight and immediately wrecked. the Taliban were already hunting him. So we knew if, if we lost connection with him on that phone call, it's over. And so one of our teammates said, I've got one more option and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long shot, but I'm gonna try it. So he called a phone number to a diplomat who was inside the airport that he had been given the phone number to. And the diplomat got real quiet and he goes, you know, um, I was a Green Beret before I was a diplomat. We gotta take care of our own. Tell him to say pineapple, that's the word of the day. So we're all like, say pineapple! And a couple of minutes later, we get a selfie of Nizam on the other side of the wire. And so Task Force Pineapple was started. And over the next 96 hours, a group of 150 volunteers from the services worked to move 700 at-risk Afghans to the United States. Operation Pineapple Express, as it became known, gripped the nation and inspired a grassroots movement that saved the lives of more than 1,000 Afghan allies. As Mann shares, these principles of leadership that made Operation Pineapple Express a success can be used to create change, build trust, and connect people to purpose. And these same old school Green Beret interpersonal skills that we use in these rough areas can help you lead a community development project, grow your business, get closer to your children. Because you don't have to be a Green Beret working in a tribal area to see that your world and the world I lived in are not that far apart. There is a growing body of evidence that shows that regardless of language or culture or perceived social evolution, that humans are remarkably similar in how we are wired to interact with each other. And these lessons aren't just for the trust or the conflict riddled battlefield. I mean, trust is eroding all over the world. He empowers leaders to trust their heads and their hearts and tap into storytelling to drive their organizations forward. The acronym that I use to connect in hard times is that this human that lives down here is a meaning seeking, emotional, social story animal who struggles. In other words, we're a mess. But that's who we are. We're the most meaning seeking creatures on the planet. We assign meaning to every single thing we do. We navigate the world using emotions. We are social creatures. We don't have fur, fangs, or claws. Our superpower is connection. We've been telling stories for 70,000 years. The brain actually tells itself a story every time it's presented with a PowerPoint deck. And the PowerPoint deck is usually forgotten within 30 seconds of thank you for your time. And we struggle. It's not just a few of us who struggle. Struggle is a biological necessity. It's part of what we do as humans. All of us struggle. So what I would like to share with you is that getting down here is where you find relevance. From the battlefield to the boardroom, Lieutenant Colonel Mann arms leaders with the tools to power high-performing organizations equipped to thrive in competitive, high-stakes environments. So consider this. The next time life throws you a curveball, I mean a really wicked human problem in your family, your office, your community. While everybody else 
is staring at it, arguing over it, or worse, running away from it. Do something unconventional. Something that people around the world and right in your own neighborhood will respect you for. Take a page from the Green Berets. Step into that problem and get surrounded on purpose. Thank you.